Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Rad Kutarot and uh, in this whole video uh, you are going to see the um, weekly tarot readings August 3rd to August 9th 2020 in terms of career and in terms of relationship uh, and uh, with that being said, a few notes about the show before uh, you see the reading itself you can skip forward if you want to but um, you also, if you do like the way I read, you can participate for uh, my tarot classes uh, in there. I'm going to explain you uh, how to read tarot cards in generally uh, with the spread that I'm using in this very video. And uh, the first, the beginner's tarot class is now available uh, recorded, which means that you can take it on your own pace. And in there you're going to find 12 hours of content, explanation, I I'd like to think a profound explanation of the major arcana and how to use them in terms of career, in terms of relationship or in terms of a looking for career or looking for a relationship and as well how they stand in the spread itself. And at the end as well you're going to have a few examples how to read just only with the major arcana. That being said, the you're going to be pretty set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings uh, when you finish the course and uh, yeah if you do want as well personal reading uh, you can go to my website uh, which is listed here into the description uh, of this video and uh, there pretty much on the very front page you're gonna find a full list of my services and as well their pricing the course can be purchased from uh, the same website going into the tarot classes section so that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show all right so um Let's have a look what Scorpio are to experience throughout the upcoming week. And the first thing that uh, we're going to look at is going to be um, our, and I'm saying our because I'm Scorpio as well, um, our love life. So let me shuffle and uh, let's see what we got. Right, so the first one here is going to be the Page of Wands. Uh, moving next, that is going to be the Nine, the nine of a Pentacles, uh, followed by the Tree of Wands. And the last one we have, that is going to be the Hierophant. Um, all right, so right uh, straight away for those which are single, Scorpio which are single. With those cards, uh, something that's, or rather like not something, but let's say interaction that may seem totally unsubstantial, okay, and irrelevant, uh, if we do keep up with it, and that is very important, if we do keep up with it, it may, it may turn out to be rather uh, a very long lasting, and it may turn out to become a relationship. Now, what will be important, however, with that interaction, this is not gonna be a law from a first sight. In fact, it will be just a casual thing, you know, how you are, how are you, and, and those kind of stuff, okay? But the more we keep up with it, with it, the more we are going to understand we can actually trust that person, all right? And we can actually um, have them or see them as a uh, reliable and very, very faithful, faithful individual as well and that is what is going to make us to uh, find the true definition of love all right because according to tarot at least the uh the real love comes with time it doesn't come straight away uh, and uh, that that is the definition once again that we are going to find uh those who are in a relationship though uh, for them, it looks like that uh, their ideas in general, in terms of their relationship, I, I would say it that way, guys, whatever you say goes, all right? Because uh, whatever your expectations you do have for throughout the week in terms of love for your relationship or for your marriage, those expectations are going to be fulfilled. And uh, yeah, I mean, you're going to feel very, very good about it. You're going to also... Um, excel the trust and the reliability within your partner and they will feel, they will have you more trustworthy than beforehand as well uh, but the thing here it is that nine of pentacles sitting on the second position that points that 
either way would have worked okay i mean this is that yeah you're gonna have your expectations met but that is not gonna have um, a decisive impact upon the future of your relationship and according to those cards the future of your relationship for at least this week looks rather bright okay and uh, the most that you can expect from the week itself is to have a good time all right that that is all the attitude that you need to uh the, that you need to show for throughout the week uh and um I pretty much don't face, how can I say, don't face the poignant, um, the poignant circumstances with huge seriousness on your behalf because they are going to go away very, very fast. Um, I want to backtrack to those which are single, okay? Uh, if you do not uh, have any interest into that casual meetup, and you don't want to keep up with it that's totally uh, i'm sorry totally fine as well because with the page of wands people are to be tested as well how strong they are on their own accord not exactly tested but uh proven to see how strong they are on their own accord and that's why it's very likely throughout the week scorpio to kind of like come to the realization that if it's not the right person then it's better to be alone okay uh, and that being said you are not gonna have the need or rather like feel depressed that you are not with somebody that you don't have a person of interest or anybody to spend your time with so that was about a uh, relationship. Now moving next, we do have a um, career. So let's have a look what we are to experience throughout the week. Right, so the first one is going to be the Sun card moving next. Uh, that will be the Three of Cups, uh, followed by uh, the Two of Swords. And the last one, uh, that will be uh, the uh, Nine of Pentacles. So the majority of the week is going to be rather quiet. And uh, that's so true. I mean, because... Uh, I don't have to tell you that, guys, but my manager is going on a, a, I would say, retreat or I don't know, something personal for uh, to Wednesday next week. So for me, the ha half of the week is going to be rather very, very quiet. All right. But after that, things are speeding up rather very, very fast. So uh, what, what, what we have here is uh, the uh, lack of enthusiasm that may get on our hand or rather like uh, that may get in our way uh, because with the three of cups into the second position of that spread it seems that we are not going to exactly see immediate results that is always how the card manifests in term of career when it comes to the second place of that position and however the sun card at the first it points that this week itself is going to be all about expansion all right expansion in terms of a career endeavors so uh, i could give myself as a personal example you know probably my manager is going to think of something throughout those few days that it is off and is going to pretty much overwhelm me with ideas when she, she comes back from whatever trip she is getting so uh that being said uh we can expect that by the end of the week uh, we can jump into uh, or we can make a leap into a career development as the nine of pentacles stands however it's very important to maintain as well a outlook how we are to keep up developing the things that we are having as a um, as a and activities up until this point and we need to find an, an equilibrium or a precious equilibrium in between the new ideas and the old activities okay that, that being said we should not um make or rather like go into new project for an expense of an old one all right that is very very important because once again the results of our actions are going to come with a delay 
and we don't want to deprive ourselves ourselves of a uh, um, um, how can I say results that we already have worked for um, for that week itself uh, we can expect as well a, a monetary gains to a certain extent uh, and uh, finally that I'm going to conclude the career uh, the career reading here is that it will be best if we do not push the things around okay we rather need to um, trust the natural developments of our situations now those who are a uh, jobless it's very possible that throughout the whole week there won't be um, any kind of like option available for them to a point where they may get to a, a despair they're never going to find a good job and right right when the things are looking very very grim out of nowhere a good opportunity comes around so that being said scorpio this was your weekly uh general tarot reading guys um hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them and uh we may see each other next time until then bye